We start feeling funny, heart rate was increasing and accelerating. I think people thought they were having heart attacks. That's how this woman feels after she felt drugged at her friend's wedding, and now the bride and her caterer are facing charges. This is a wild story. The Seminole County Sheriff's Office is investigating what happened. One of the guests spoke exclusively to Channel 9's Ashley Edlin about feeling like she was actually dying, and Ashley's live outside the Sheriff's Office. Ashley, she says it didn't just happen to her. No, many guests, Greg, we spoke to off camera who just weren't comfortable talking to us today for this story told us they started to feel sick at the reception on the dance floor, dizzy even. They said they didn't know what was going on until they started to look around them and realized they were not alone. February 19th at the Springs in Longwood was supposed to be a happy day for Miranda Katie and her friends. We're all just enjoying and celebrating our friend's success. Celebrating their friend, Dania Glenny's nuptials. On the dance floor, having fun, catching the bouquet. Hello. Until something went horribly wrong at the happy occasion. I just started feeling a little bit dizzy. Um, just kind of like the room was spinning a little bit and things were distorted. Katie wasn't alone. Guests all around her started feeling off. Heart rate was increasing and accelerating. I think people thought they were having heart attacks. In this report from the Seminole County Sheriff's Office, it says a man who called 911 told them he felt like he had drugs inside him. Other guests started telling first responders they suspected the food was laced with marijuana. The Sheriff's Office says they approached Glennie and another person and asked them if they had put cannabis in the food at the wedding. The sheriff's office says they said no, but in a report we got from the sheriff's office, food items at the wedding were tested, and now both Glennie and the caterer, Jocelyn Bryant, are charged with tampering, negligence, and delivery of marijuana. We reached out to Glennie to ask what happened, but she didn't pick up. We also knocked at an address for Bryant and tried to call. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected. Katie says people at the wedding, including her, feel violated. I actually text myself at one time um, a message just in case I didn't make it through the night. And now they just want an apology and an explanation. It was just why, why did it happen? Um, whatever the reason, I think people just want an explanation. I reached out to the sheriff's office today to ask them what exactly it was that led them to Glennie and Bryant in this case. What connected them to these two? They told us it was interview after interview with witnesses and victims in this case. They say this case is ongoing right now. They are still investigating. So when we have more information, of course, we're going to let you know. But for now, live in Seminole County, Ashley Edlin, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.